Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Coast Creators here today, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be on Carowind's five year plan. I just want to say if you guys keep liking these videos, make sure to keep showing your support as they will keep being made and keep coming out. Also, this is the uh, five year plan from 2021 to 2025. For the 2021 season, we already know what's coming to Carowinds. It's going to be a racing slide that is a mat racer, and it's going to be called Boogie Board Racer by Pro Slide, and it's going in the plot of land right behind um, Copperhead Strike in Carolina Harbor. Okay, for the 2022 season, I think that we're going to see the removal of Dinosaurs Alive in the kids area. Um, the reason I think that Dinosaurs Alive is going to be removed is that the licensing was up back in 2012 for um, Dinosaurs Alive and that Carowinds is Dinosaurs Alive is kind of getting out of date. And I don't think that Dinosaurs Alive is really a good fit anymore for the park. In general, I think that this should be removed and put and have a coaster put in this plot of land as I think it'd be perfect for a GCI wooden coaster coming to Carowinds. So the reason why I think a GCI wooden coaster is coming to Carowinds in this plot of land is because the only real true wooden coaster they have left in Carowinds is Hurler, and I don't think Hurler is that good of a roller coaster. Um, the other wooden coaster that was removed back in 2015 was the racing wooden coaster, Thunder Road, and they removed it for a water park expansion. The reason why I think that a GCI wooden coaster is coming to Carowinds in this plot of land is that I think that this plot of land just screams a GCI twister wooden coaster where it could go out and back towards the end by um, the airtime hills of Intimidator and then come back and just have like half out and back and half, half twister. And I just think that this would be a phenomenal wooden coaster if it was to go in this plot of land and plus to give this part of the park another standout attraction that it needs and it also needs to be revamped in the process. For the 2023 season, what I think is going to be coming to Carowinds is that I think that they're going to end up removing the full plot of land of Roaring Rapids or Rip Roaring Rapids and they're going to be putting in a flat ride collection from maybe SNS or Zero or Huss. Um, and I think that they could even possibly be putting in the new SNS tower that was released just a few days ago or even a few weeks ago. This attraction has also been off the park map for a few years now and I think that they're finally going to tear it out and put something new inside this plot of land. I think it is also a prime real estate for the park that is right by the front entrance and it's also a big plot of land next to one of their biggest coasters which also leads me to think that they are going to want to remove this plot of land to try and open up the views of Fury even though they're already open enough. But I just would like to see something else come to this section of the park to completely seal the deal as this is probably the best section in the park. So for the 2024 season, I think, think that Carowinds is going to take this as an off year and use the rest of the Dinosaurs Alive plot of land and do like three or four Planet Snoopy attractions to help expand their Camp Snoopy or Planet Snoopy lineup. So for the 2025 season, I think that Nighthawk is going to be announced to be removed in 2024 and I think that they're going to replace Nighthawk with a new RMC um, ground up Woody or even a um, ground up iBox treatment. I think it would be nice to see a smaller version of Zadra at Energylandia to see just how compact those elements are together. And I think that this coaster would definitely not be the height of Zadra, but I think that this coaster could possibly still be the best in the park. But I would still hope to see this attraction around 150 to 160 feet, but just with the twister layout like Zadra, but in a more confined area. This is going to be the end of the video guys, if you guys have at all enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below if you're at all new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, it is very much appreciated, and it helps the channel grow, so, and I will see you guys in the next one.